Sometimes really bad things happen in airplanes, but it's really good when they happen on the ground. How you doing? Ted Greenfield, over 50 and learning to fly. And yes, sometimes really bad things happen in airplanes, but it is a really good thing when these bad things happen on the ground. So here's what happened to me. I went to start my airplane the other day and I did my pre-flight. And as I was doing my pre-flight, I checked the oil and I noticed my oil was down about a quart and a half, which is really, really odd. So I added a quart and a half of oil and I kind of kept that in the back of my head thinking about that. I went, did the pre-flight, everything's fine. I went to start up the engine and it was big boom, 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 boom. And it was super, super rough. It felt like it was running on three cylinders. It was just bad all the way around. And my mechanic just happened to be right there. So I shut off the engine, he came over. We did a mag check, we started it up again. It wasn't the mags. And we said, okay, this is really bad. This is not right. And we pulled off the cowling and here is what we found. Basically, we pulled off the cowling and we noticed on the number two cylinder, this tube, the valve tube was bent at about a 30 degree angle and there was oil all over the place. Um, and this is really, this is just not good. Unfortunately, um, the engine is around 1850, 1870 hours right now. So it is nearing the end of its life. Um, I just wasn't expecting this to come so soon. Um, often when we deal with death, we don't expect these things to come so soon, even when it's just an engine. But um, the insurance company is involved and we have a lot of uh, hypotheses out there and ideas of what could happen. But the main thing is that we, myself and all, everybody included, are really happy that this happened on the ground. If this would have happened in the air, this really would have been catastrophic. I think the engine maybe would have run for maybe three to five minutes and then it would have just stopped. Um, and also, as I started it, uh, before we removed the cowling and saw it, as I started it, I had to throttle in about maybe 60%, 70% of the way and it was only going up to maybe 18, 1900 RPM. So it wouldn't have generated any power at all if, uh, if this happened in the air. So it's fantastic that this happened on the ground. Um, the insurance company is involved, so we will find out what the insurance company says. And now we may be looking at a, well, let's just use the word may. We may, on the positive side of may, maybe leaning over may towards will, but we're not there yet. We may be looking at a new engine, um, which I was gonna do anyway. I just wanted to wait a little while longer. So anyway, thanks for watching. This is the update and I will keep you informed on the repairs on what all this is gonna cost. And if I do go the route of getting a new engine, what type of engine I am gonna put in this beautiful old bird. Thanks for watching.